spend a little more time on this because it's so crucial, so, so crucial. Those of you who come to Divine Encounter, you will notice that I preached a sermon about two or three months ago on the danger of causes. How a cause can destroy someone's destiny, how it can destroy someone's future. And I gave the example of someone that I know very, very well. An extremely brilliant person. I mean, he's so brilliant that if he ever came second in his class, he will come home crying. That he came second. <laughs> and I know some people even if they come tenth, they will be rejoicing. But if he ever came second, he will come home crying. Very brilliant. He was the favorite of all the teachers. They loved him. Then one day, he beat up his mother. And the mother touched her two breasts and said, unless you did not suck this breast, that's when you will prosper. Now that's what is called a curse. Not too long after that, this young man woke up one morning and said, I'm no longer going to school. Why not? He said, I'm not going. Ah, the teacher came to you? No, the teachers never came. He was the favorite. Why do you want to stop your studies midway? He said, I said, I'm not going back to school. What do you want to do? He said, I like the way the apprentice driver jump on the lorry. I want to become an apprentice driver. Well, drivers were few in those days. So everybody said, well, okay. If he becomes a driver, he can still make it. He was an apprentice driver for a while. Then one day he saw some musicians and said, I want to become a drummer. To cut a long story short, this brilliant fellow in his old age became a night guard. He could have been a professor, but a curse reduced him to nothing. I pray once more, every curse or hanging over your head, may God destroy it in Jesus' name. It's a dangerous thing to have a curse on your head. But then we all know that if your parents curse you, your pastor can cancel the curse because he has a superior authority. He's your spiritual father. If your pastor curses you and you run to the general overseer who ordained him, he can use his superior anointing to cancel the curse of your pastor. If the general overseer causes you, you're going to need the intervention of Jesus Christ himself to cancel that cause. That's why the general overseer will not like to curse at all. 
The only thing I curse in your life is anything that wants to destroy you. Every force working against you, I curse them in Jesus' name. But if God causes you, to whom will you run? It's a dangerous thing to rob God. Every robber who robbed God of his tithes and offerings is under a curse. And like I told you yesterday, any minister of God who is not paying his tithe is bringing a curse not only on himself but on his congregation. He's bringing a curse not only on himself but on the rest of us. That is why we do not want any pastor, any minister who is not paying his tithes to remain among us. Any minister who is not paying his tithe is a plan that God did not plant. And what will happen to that plant? He shall be rooted up. But some of you, tell your congregation, in fact, show them this video. Show them that it is the Jew who said so, not you. <laughs> 